After a shooting that happened here at the hotspot, killing two people, the Alcoholic Beverage Control Board issued this emergency suspension, and they were able to do this thanks to a new ordinance. This is simply unacceptable. On Monday, Mayor Craig Greenberg addressed the violence over the weekend, including a shooting at the hotspot, a bar and restaurant along Evangeline Avenue. In March, Metro Council passed an ordinance allowing Metro ABC to issue immediate emergency license suspensions to prevent violent crime at bars. When owners take advantage, when they are negligent in their responsibilities, we are going to take action. The ordinance came in response to other similar incidents, such as a shooting in March that killed one person at Cafe 360 and Southern Restaurant and Lounge last August where two were killed. Councilman Ben Reno Weber says it's one way the city hopes to fight violence. The idea that Councilman Blackwell had in bringing this ordinance that many of us co-sponsored was when something like this happens, how do we quickly respond as a city to just give ourselves a moment to take a breath and see what happened and then respond appropriately. So far this year, there have been more than 60 homicides, 56 were shootings. These numbers trouble community advocate Will Pitts, who founded a nonprofit focused on community engagement called Millennium Enterprise Foundation. We are losing people. We are losing, we are losing things that can't be replaced. You go kill somebody else and then they come kill you or they come kill your friend, guess what? All that that you've done or all that that you did, it, it went in vain. He says a part of violence interruption is starting young. Many of his programs focus on kids, such as his shoot balls, not guns, basketball tournament. Trouble is always knocking at the door. You know, especially in the world we live in, dealing with all the social media, uh, trouble uh, jump in your inbox. But he says it's not just up to the city and LMPD to prevent gun violence. We need every single human being that claim or uh, represent the city of Louisville to come and stand up. Madison Elliott, WOKY News.